Previously on Cyber Slaughter. Madison Cadley, a young girl from Paisley, Florida, has confessed to the murder of 17 year old Jackson Jatterson. Jackson said, and I'm right. It's a perfect day. Ah! Did it? He, he did I it. I said she shot it! I did it! I killed him! I killed Jackson! Adrian! Wait, no, stop! What are you doing? You can't do this! Bella, finally! Hey. Jenna! She's... She, I know. She was always so nice to us. And we were terrible to her. No one could have known that a fire would burn down her house. It's not your fault, Drew. I, I just, I can't believe she's, she's gone. I'm so sorry, Drew. Sorry? Where have you been? I've been trying to call you for the last two days. I needed some space. Space? You were investigating a murder. You can't just leave me like that. I thought you were dead. I thought I had lost two friends in one day. I didn't mean to even happened? What happened? I went to Allie's. She wasn't home, but her parents were. They told me that her plans were canceled last minute. She was home on April 4th. Jenna knew where she was going. She was going over to her cousin's house. She wasn't involved in the murder at all. I can't believe you're dropping it like this. I mean, I didn't want to believe it either, but do you remember how suspicious she was acting on that day? No, she was acting totally normal. She was at home that night. So were you. So was Jenna. So was I. End of story. Loose ends have been tied up. You can check the names off the list and we all can move on with our lives. I'd like nothing more. Just to be sure, have you visited Sydney? She doesn't remember, does she? She doesn't remember a thing from that night. She doesn't remember who hit her or why. And I'm still her innocent best friend. You must have hurt her pretty hard. I did what needed to be done. I gotta go now. Not so fast. As much as we all want to, things will never go back to normal. Don't forget your role in all of this. If we go down, you go down with us. So watch your back. Hey! I wish I could come visit you in person, but I think I'm grounded for life. What? Why? For turning myself in. Rowdy said she told you. Uh, nope. Turning yourself in what? To the police. What? Madison, what did you do? Nothing. You know, I was only trying to cover your back. <laughs> I don't need you to cover my back. I'm fine. What medication are they giving you? Uh, I don't know. I haven't talked to you since the crash. How are you, how are you feeling? <laughs> I'm actually doing great. I can't wait to get home and see my friends. Like me? 
Yeah, of course. And, you know, Jackson and Ruby, all my friends. <laughs> Sydney, what are your injuries? <laughs> um, no broken bones, just a bunch of cuts and bruises. The only thing that really hurts anymore is my head. Doctor said I hit it pretty hard in the crash. Sydney, where were you on April 4th? Ooh, let me think. Um, ooh, I, ooh, ow, my head hurts really bad right now, sorry. Um, I don't know, why? Sydney, what happened to Jackson? What do you mean? Is he at home? I have to go. Rowdy. What now? Sydney doesn't remember anything. Like, anything before her crash. Is it really that bad? Yes! The less witnesses, the better. What? Jackson was murdered! We can't just let this go! You didn't even know him. Neither did I. An innocent boy died! We've gotten this far, our only option- No! <laughs> you have no idea what he'll do to her. I can't. Rowdy, you're our only witness now! No, 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 you can't. I won't let you. He won't let me let you. I've done everything he's asked. Babula and Shandy haven't said anything. Sydney can't remember. The house burned up. She'll be fine. He can't hurt her. I'll be fine. Babula and Shandy? Sydney can't remember? The house? Rowdy, what have you done? No more keeping in the dark. I want to help you find out who killed Jackson. Great. What do you know? Jackson was murdered. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Jackson was murdered on April 4th. It wasn't any of us or Madison. But why would Madison lie? It doesn't make sense. We could always ask her. I'm off my game. I'm right there with you, Babula. <gasps> no, you're not. Babula, what's the matter? Well, I just can't help but to think that what we saw at the park had something to do with Jackson's murder. Not this again. Rowdy, she's right. We're upstanding citizens. We can't withhold information from the almighty law. It could have been important. I thought we agreed on what we saw. It was harmless. You should have seen the way that that girl looked at me. It was just for a split second, but still! We can't go out on the run. We can't stay at home. So, we go to the police. No! What's your problem, Rowney? Nothing. We're doing this with or without you, Rowdy. What's it gonna be? You don't know what you're doing. Maybe she's right. Snap out of it! We have a job to do! Sandy and Babula! Heroes! Uh, Babula and Sandy! Heroes! No! Who is this? I'm Bella. Drew. Hello? We know you lied. And we want to know why. The only thing you're gonna hear from me is my phone hanging up. Wait, we just want to talk. My advice? Stay out of it. We want to know who killed Jackson. What? We all know it wasn't you. 
Well, what do you know? Well, we... Know absolutely nothing. And there's the problem. No one knows anything. We don't have any witnesses or any evidence. There must be someone. No, Sydney was my only lead and she can't remember anything now. Wait, what? My friend Sydney. She knew what happened to Jackson. Seriously? Oh, I, I shouldn't have said that. I don't know why I'm trusting you. But I guess I can't hurt anyone anymore. If your friend knows what happened to Jackson, why didn't she say anything? Like I said, she doesn't remember. She was in a car accident last week. No way. Uh-huh. That's a huge lead. What do you mean? That accident wasn't by accident. I've read about things like this. Who hit her? That's just it. We don't- <laughs> No. Wait. What? Ruby said something. She said Rowdy Slinks hit her. So she's the killer? No, no, no. I, I, I talked to her. She said she didn't, but- Oh no. I talked to her again today. She said something about Sydney. Wait, how did Ruby find out? I don't know. But I have a bad feeling she wasn't lying. It's time, Shandy. Ready for action! You're not actually doing this, are you? It's the right thing to do, Rowdy. Shandy the Brave! Wait, shouldn't we go back to the park first? To refresh our memory? Normally, I hate going outside. But that sounds like a good idea. 30 minutes, then. Be there. It's no use. I know Rowdy hit Sydney, but we need stronger evidence. But how is Rowdy involved? 
Sydney doesn't remember anything before the crash, but maybe she remembers during the crash. We have to go visit her. Be there in an hour. I can't tonight. What? Why? I have homework. Oh. Um, okay. Let's go to the crime scene. Over here. Bugs! Yuck! <gasps> I don't want to go any further. I'm scared. Be brave, Babula! Just a little further. Ah! Who is that? I'm getting the heebie-jeebies over here. Rowdy, what are you doing? <gasps> Who is that girl? Where are you going? <gasps> Run, Sydney Morris, and I know what happened to Jackson Jatterson. Me and some friends, Ruby, Ali, and Adrian, were at the park the night of April 4th. We were all hanging out until Jackson showed up. He was upset because Ruby broke up with him, and when he saw Adrian, he got even more upset. So he punched him. It was an all-out fist fight until Adrian knocked Jackson down. We were all about to leave when Jackson went after Ruby. Allie and I tried to get him off of her, but when he fell, he fell hard. Next thing I know, he's in the lake. We tried so hard to keep him afloat, but we couldn't get him above the water. Jackson drowned. The reason I'm saying all of this is because one of us pushed him down instead of trying to pull him up. Adrian drowned Jackson. Don't believe me? Judge the lake. You'll find Jackson right there where Adrian murdered him. So what now? We did it. It's over. Time to go back to normal. You said things would never go back to normal. We'll see. <laughs> Bubble and Shandy. I know you'll never get this message, but I'm so sorry. Breaking news, Adrian Wickers has been found dead after police dredged the lake where Jackson Jatterson was confirmed to be murdered. The police are waiting to release details once more evidence is found. Stay tuned for information on this discovery and what it means for the Jatterson case. My mind is scrambling. I think I'm going to pass out. What just happened? Who's Adrian? Is this related? You're not asking the important question. What? If Jackson's not dead at the bottom of the lake... Where is he? Hey, good luck on your movie. Let me know if you need any more help. Sure. Maybe you and Ruby could come over to my house when I get home. Yeah, definitely. Sounds good. Bye, Jackson.
Bye, Sydney. <laughs>